Hello everyone, today's tutorial will be more of a quick tip than a tutorial because Abraham Herrera here on my YouTube channel was asking me if that he has a slide with credits and he would like to add multiple changing images to a single slide with some credits roll. So what I imagine that he has, he has some credits which are rolling and he would like this background to change during the slide rolls. So this would be really no problem. Let's say that I have several photographs prepared. I will simply take the photographs and I'll place them onto my slide. If your photographs have different size, you just resize it to the proper way, but I can select all of them because they are all equal, and I simply make them bigger. With the shift and left control key, I place them like that. Now, I have those four images. I will go to home, select, and I'll open up my selection pane. Now, I have animations, both animation pane and selection pane open, because I want to see what's happening here. The first is the picture number 13. Let's say that this is the proper placing. This is the first picture, this is the second one, this is the third. I'll stay like that. And you only have to do one thing. On the animations, click on the first photograph, go down and select fade from exit animations. This will cause this image to disappear. Now you should place this animation. I'll go maybe with previous, so it starts automatically. And I want this to be delayed to about two seconds. After two seconds have passed, this item will disappear. Okay, I will deselect this first image because it will be hard to select the second one. Select the second one, simply do again, fade with previous and place it even later, like to five seconds or maybe four seconds. Now, once you've finished all photographs and all items you want to disappear, you make it visible and once the animation will play, let's preview it. The animation plays, two seconds will pass, the image will change. Of course, now the text was the last one, so you need to take the text box and place it as the first one. If you have, for example, a PowerPoint version, which doesn't have the selection pane, I believe the Mac version or some older versions didn't have this, then you need to make sure that the text, right click, bring to front, bring to front. And also the images need to be on front, then back, 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 until you reach the last image. Now, let's preview the animation that we have. The text is flying. Of course, the text should be white because there's are very dark images. I'll make the text white. Let's preview. Two seconds are passing and the first image disappears. The next few seconds and the image changes. Of course, this animation could be a bit longer. It could be later. It all depends on which animation you want. Let's preview this. We have a nice, very clean fade during our credits. And on full screen, this would look like that. I really hope this little tip will help you. Thanks for asking these questions. If you have any other questions, just let me know. I'll try to answer you or record a tutorial about that. For me, it's also a pleasure because I get new ideas for videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you once again. If you appreciate the video, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.